Havilah Malone here with Louisiana Entertainment Reporter. We are here at the beautiful Mike's on the Avenue restaurant on St. Charles in New Orleans, and we are being joined by Grammy-nominated musician and founder of the Voice of the Wetlands, Mr. Tab Benoit. Well, thank right. you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Oh, absolutely. So, you know, you're going to be doing a concert this evening that's going to right. benefit the Young Leadership Council over Lafayette Square mm -hmm. next door. And before we get into the concert or even into the new CD that you have out now, tell me a little bit about the work that you're doing with Voice of the Wetlands. Well, um, Voice of the Wetlands was founded, you know, by myself and a handful of people around home of Louisiana. Uh, back in 04, we got our articles um, of organization. You know, that's when you're officially there. But I, it was something that started probably around 2000 and uh, started trying to trying to, trying to to educate people inside of New Orleans about uh, what I was seeing. I live, you know, south of New Orleans. I live over the levees, and uh, I knew that people here weren't seeing what was happening over the levees and how much land we were losing and how vulnerable the city was. So the, the first thing in mind was to try to get people here, especially in New Orleans, educated about what's going to happen here if we don't figure something out, you know. And... Uh, and, and well, it happened in 2005, so it, we were, uh, I guess, a little late. <laughs> but you know, I, it's not something that's easy to, to tell people, you know, um, and it's not something that's easy to explain you know, because the 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 truth about what happened to the Delta of the Mississippi is a very well hidden secret. You know, you don't hear about this everywhere. People don't know uh, what the problems are here. You know, this is not a global warming issue. This is a man-made issue. This is you know us messing with the Mississippi River and it's messing back so um, you know we're smarter than that and we should be ahead of the game here and we should know what what could happen and what's going to happen and and, uh, and prevent those things if they're preventable and I've seen a lot of things that were preventable that didn't get fixed so you know I got tired of uh, feeling back into a corner and I uh, decided that the musicians had the voice uh, they, they, we see people all over the country we we have a way in. Let's go use that way in and, uh, and, and send them a message that, you know, look, you know, we're watching. Uh, we're not going to continue to, to take these, uh, you know, stupid hits in the back of the head kind of thing. And, you know, we're going to turn around and start slapping back if we have to <laughs> because this is our home, you know, and this is where we live and where the music comes from. We're a product of our environment, and our environment is a wetland environment. You're absolutely right. And so not only a stellar musician, but also an environmental activist. So this evidently is a cause that's very close to your heart with the preservation of the wetlands. Well, yeah, it's our coast and it's our homes here. You know, I mean, just because you put streets and buildings up doesn't mean that you changed what this environment is. You didn't change this. This is still the delta of the third largest river on the planet. So... You have to live here like you live in a wetland environment. Even if you got buildings and parking lots, you didn't change what's under that. And, uh, you know, it's important. All right. And so this ties directly back into the work that you do with the Voice of the Wetlands All-Stars. Mm -hmm. So you have a collaboration with some amazing artists. Uh, we got Cyril Neville, Anders Osborne, and quite a few others. So kind of how did that collaboration come together? Just from, you know, talking to these guys who, you know, these are all friends of mine and I'd play here with them or play there with them and, you know, play a festival with them, play a gig somewhere and, we'd, you know, uh, we would talk about it. They would they would hear that I was involved in something and they wanted to know what it was and, uh, you know, if, if they wanted to know, I would tell them as much as I can and they all said, if, if you ever do anything that I can help on, let me know. And uh, we had a, our first festival was... Um, in in uh, 2004 in Homa, and uh, the idea with the festival was to raise money to make the CD. So, you know, it's it's hard to go to a label and say, "Look, I got all of these all-star musicians here, and uh, we want to do an album." You know, with a message and a record record labels go, "No, we, you know, that's not us. We don't know how to market it. it." A lot of it came down to marketing issues, and it's like, well, you know, look, we just. We're going to go do it ourselves. Take it know? in our yeah. own hands yeah. and go out there. That way we can say what we want to say, play it the way we want to play it. And, you know, nobody tells us anything. We walk in there as musicians who care, who, are, who want to work together on something. And, and that's the real beauty of it. You know, it's, it's a really organic, natural, you know, 
fit uh, 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 that we all have together, you know. I love it. And so tell our viewers, how can they get involved with helping with this preservation of the wetlands? Well, um, you know, the, the, our problems are the same problems that everybody has across the country. It's uh, a lack of involvement of the people of the country. If, if, uh, if we don't watch what everybody's doing, we don't watch what these people are doing with our tax money and, uh, and, uh, and with our future, for that matter, um, they're going to run away with the ball and they're going to make good short-term decisions for themselves. They're not going to make good long-term decisions for us. And since the document that sets our country apart starts with we the people, and we mm -hmm. the people are always involved, are able to be involved, and we're always invited, uh, I think it's time we walk through that door, you know. Um, if you're getting something locally, no matter where you live, I mean, it could be in another state. If you're getting something locally in government, get involved in it, you know, start showing up to city council meetings, listen to what they're saying. You're going to, you, right off the bat, you're going to see something that they're saying that's wrong, you know. And why would you continue to follow that guy if you know he's wrong? You need to step up there with your information and go, no, that's wrong. It's my turn to speak, and you know, I'm going to tell you what I see, you know. All of us see everything as a collective. So, you know, there's, there, should be, there shouldn't be any mysteries. If, we're all, if we all see everything and we're all active and we're all involved in our government and in this country, then uh, the kind of things that happen to us don't exist, you know. Uh, we all should really that, work together and let our voice be heard. Yeah, and work as individuals. Uh, don't wait for some movement to come by and sweep you up. Get in there as, as an individual. There's phone numbers that are available to every one of us to be able to call our congressmen and call people all the way to the top. People can call the White House. You can call your, your mayor. You can, you know, locally you can, you have a really good chance of talking to the mayor or the governor. I mean, why not? You know, if, if you have a problem with it, stop pointing your finger at the TV and blaming them. You know, it's, hey, it's our country. Jump in there and get it. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's the real freedom that we want. You know, let's use it. Yep, absolutely. So we're going to take a quick break so you can enjoy some of the sounds of the talented Mr. Tab Benoit. Wait a time. 